Hey everyone, thank you for joining the front row with myself Rowena Mudley. Today we're talking about how you can get through life no matter what your circumstances. Sometimes life can be really, really tough. I know this. Life can throw you curveballs, it can swing you around, it can force you to do things that you really didn't plan for and it can knock you out. But how you get through it and how you come out of it is what matters most. I'm going to be sharing some, some of the tricks that I use that keep me sane. <laughs> Firstly, it keeps me um, on track to what I need to do and it helps me get through the hurdle. So if you want to know how I make life a little bit better in spite of my circumstances, then please keep watching. Hey everyone, this is The Front Row with Rowanna Mudley. We're talking about how to get through life no matter what your circumstances. And I want to share with you some of the things that I do regularly that really truly help me get through the hurdle. It helps me to get through life and to make my life a little bit more meaningful. Now we, all, now we all know when you're going through something very, very stressful or you're going through something very trying, it is very, very difficult to remember all the good things. So what I like to do is I like to literally write it down or type it out. Whether it's your phone or whether it's an actual book to write it down, I do where I do whatever's easier for me at the moment. Whether I, and most of the time it's my phone, and I quickly go to my notes and I write down the things that I'm that I'm grateful for. So when you're going through something that is extremely extremely difficult, when it takes a lot of your mental stamina it can be very difficult to remember the good things and what gratitude does is it forces your brain to think positively because what you think grows and if you put more positivity in your life the universe recognizes that and it bestows upon you better things in life it may not happen immediately it may not happen in the time that you want it to happen but it will happen and it is worth it. When you write down, I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for the love that I have for my family. I'm grateful for the way I think. I'm grateful for the meal that I had today. When you start looking at it, and you write down all the positives in your life versus all the things that are going wrong in your life, you'll often find that there's more positives than there are bad things. I mean, talk about the little things. And it is a wonderful thing to just remind yourself and to just put in that positive energy into your brain to say listen hang on i have it bad right now i may be unemployed right now i may be in a bad relationship right now i may have faced a really tragic moment right now but that is a moment that i acknowledge that i am facing that i am dealing with but it doesn't fall short of the many other things that are good in my life that I am absolutely grateful for. The next thing that has probably been a game changer for me is I like to go with what is the next best move. Now, sometimes I get overwhelmed and I overthink something and I, and I don't know if I'm making the right choice in life. And it just kind of centers me to say, okay, I'm here now. This is my situation right now. This is where I'm currently at. So what is my next best move? And when you make that move, you eventually say, what is my next best move? And you continue in that fashion and eventually you'll realize, looking back, all of those best moves that you've made were inevitably leading you to where you naturally were meant to be and it was all worth it. So... At that moment, always think about what is the next best move for me, my sanity, my zen, my flow, and make that decision and don't look back. The third thing that I found myself doing in many, many 
situations that I've been in that were very, very difficult was that I found my felt myself forced into finding a solution in any situation. And it kind of has become a strength of mine because it doesn't matter what life throws at me, I will find a solution to a problem. And it's something that I have taken with me from my childhood into my adult life. And now I use it in all facets of my decision making is that give me a problem give me a situation and i will find a solution and sometimes um, i get a little bit mind boggled by the fact that i put so much pressure on myself because i say i am going to find a solution but because my mind is geared in that way that i told myself i am going to find a solution eventually a solution does come my way it may take a long time or it may happen in a very short space of time but come what may i will find a solution to that problem the next thing that has helped me especially with the kind of life that i've had growing up there were many many hard times that my family and i had experienced there were many situations where we had to really really struggle we really had to make do we really had to make decisions at the spur of the moment and the right decisions or the best decisions for us at that moment in time to survive, to um, feel sane in this in the life that we were we were we were given, and and it really put a lot of pressure on my family and I, and it and it and it happened so quick that life just hits you for a six and you don't even know how it happens so you cannot really be prepared for it but how you handle yourself under stressful conditions mm -hmm. truly makes you a stronger person and truly speaks volumes for your worth and your capability with the opportunities that you've been given what is it that you can take from it a lesson learned maybe a skill maybe something that you can extract to to do better in your life and use it as an opportunity and we're not at the detriment of someone else so always doing the right thing but taking opportunities and lessons from everything that has happened or transpired and the final thing that i learned uh, from watching uh, so many self-help videos motivational videos inspirational videos and i find that i relate so much to the likes of oprah winfrey maya angelo steve harvey so uh, all of these people speak the same truth they say what is the thing that comes naturally to you with the least amount of effort Dif that can be different for anyone the thing that comes naturally to you with the least amount of effort is the thing that you should focus your energy on right now to gain traction in your life. Whether it is monetary value, whether it is emotional value or otherwise, it is the thing that comes naturally to you that gives you the happiness and the ability to get to where you want to be. So sometimes you may be someone that has many things that come naturally to you and you are absolutely blessed, but it is taking one thing and focusing on that one thing and really perfecting the one thing and then moving on to the next. It's sort of like not doing everything at once because then you're going to give it your divided attention. But if you focus on each thing at a time and give it 100% all the time, you'll eventually give every single thing 100%. It's a no brainer, right? But we tend to divide our ourselves a lot so focusing your energy on the thing that gives you the most gratification the thing that is most easy for you with the least amount of effort is the, a game changer when it comes to getting your life better and getting your life into a smooth running machine that doesn't really question what the hell the universe throws at you because the truth of the matter is the universe can throw anything at you and you have the ability to get yourself up and make the difference, make a change in your life, be better, do better, and not be a victim of your circumstances. I come from a past of absolute ridiculous life hurdles. It wasn't pretty. I didn't have a lot of things growing up. I had to always hustle. I had to always make a plan. I had to always defend my social status amongst my friends because I was at a point in time embarrassed of my financial situation because I thought, 
all my friends were rich all my friends were wealthy i needed to be this person too and i was embarrassed of that person but as i grew older i realized it doesn't matter what my parents couldn't afford to give me what matters is how i grew from that and what were the lessons that i took from those circumstances now i look back and i'm so grateful for the life that i had because i don't think i would have been the strong minded adult that i am today had i not gone through all of those things that made me think in a certain way act in a certain way be grateful in a certain way and every single experience has afforded me an opportunity to learn to grow to better myself to just be a strong woman who is empowered who is a self starter self goer a self everything really and i'm grateful for that i don't blame anyone i don't have any animosity towards the fact that i had this childhood that didn't give me all of these opportunities i am grateful for the fact that i'm a self starter i'm grateful for the fact that everything i do is by the sweat of my brow i'm grateful for the fact that i have the know how and the knowledge through these experiences to know what it takes to get to a certain level in life and also to appreciate all the steps that it takes to get to that point and when i talk to other people it also comes from a sense of gratitude my angelo says when you know better you do better and that is fundamentally what we're all striving to do to be better than our circumstances we are not victims we are people who are empowered we are people that are able to get ourselves up and do the thing that we feel is the next best move whether you're in a rotten relationship whether you're in a rotten job whether your life is throwing curveballs that you don't even know what the heck is happening anymore you have the power to change that and you have the power to change your destiny if you believe in a higher power or a universe i believe that we are all destined for something and we all need to kind of go with the flow of what life is offering the moment you start going against the current you start you start receiving things that are not working out you know the, the times where you like i don't think that's something doubt means no so try and listen to yourself more write down your feelings write down what you, your thoughts are and really really own who you are and what you're about and always always do right by yourself and do the right thing and make sure that you never ever force yourself into a corner where you now have to play the victim you have the power within you and that's all that matters if you thought this video resonated with you please hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and comment below letting me know what is it that you struggle with or what is it that you find that you need help with or maybe you want to chat about some other topic that you'd like me to discuss i would be happy to hear your thoughts on this but just a quick recap on the five elements that we discuss gratitude what is the next best step for me always find solutions in the craziness that you really seek opportunities for your self growth and your worth and lastly do the thing that comes naturally to you with the least amount of effort and those five fundamentals are going to help you get through life and help you forget about your circumstances you are strong you are worthy and you are royal i post videos every monday and every thursday so i'll catch you on the next video